Thank you, as always, to our Noah Ram for the uh, world news. We got a, a double update there, but uh, let's move on to the rest of the day's news. It's one of the biggest cultural events on the calendar here in South Korea. It's the Busan International Film Festival, and it is back for its 23rd edition in Korea's southern port city. It really is a lot of fun, and our Kim Dami checked out last night's glitzy and glamorous opening ceremony and tells us what to expect from this year's festival. Asia's biggest film event at the 2018 Busan International Film Festival opened on Thursday. Renowned South Korean actors and actresses, including Han Ji-min and Jang Dong-gon, walked along the red carpet in glamorous outfits and one of the highlights of the event. For three years in a row, a South Korean film has been chosen to open the festival. In the movie Beautiful Days, directed by Yoon Jae-ho, South Korean actress Lee Na-young plays a North Korean woman who abandons her family for a better life. The festival will feature 323 films from 79 countries, screened in five theaters across the city, including Busan Cinema Center. 115 of those films will premiere in Korea for the first time. Busan Classic is a new addition to the festival this year, highlighting some of the classic works of master filmmakers. In addition to enjoying those masterpieces, the audience can also interact with filmmakers and stars more intimately through open talks. Martial arts drama Master Z, The Ip Man Legacy by Hong Kong's Yuan Wu Ping will close the 10-day-long festival. Despite Typhoon Kong Ray gate crashing the event, movie lovers from all around the world are excited to be here now that the film reels have started rolling. Kim Dami, Arirang News, Busan.